Should you use a weightlifting belt? So to answer this question, we're going to have to look into what a belt actually does. So the main effect of a belt is increasing what is called intra-abdominal pressure. So this is pressure inside your belly. And this increase in pressure is about 15% for deadlifts and about 25 to 40% on squats. This has two main effects. The first one is going to be negative. This is going to increase your blood pressure. So for example, if you've had hernias or you've had eye surgery like I have, I had LASIK eye surgery before I was a minus seven, a minus eight, completely blind, and I had an eye surgery, and so I cannot have a super high blood pressure that using a belt might entail. So I typically don't use a belt. This is actually the first time I've used a belt in a very, very long time. I typically do not use a belt. Now, the good thing about this intra-abdominal pressure is it actually helps to stabilize the spine. So if you're bracing without a belt or bracing with a belt, that belt just helps you to brace harder. You can see, you can, you can see here, you can push out against that belt and brace harder than last time. And this increase in pressure actually allows the spine to be more stable and to transfer force from the legs, the prime movers, up through the spine to the bar. And this allows you to potentially lift more weight. For beginners, they actually show zero increase in strength when using a belt. However, if you learn to use a belt, you might get a small increase in strength. This could be 5%, this could be maybe 10%. Uh, other studies find that it's only 10 pounds or just a couple of kilos. And so it really does vary a lot. However, the difference is potentially significant. And if you are a power lifter, I advise using a belt simply because it's going to allow you to move more weight. And if you're competitive, every little bit helps. I am not a competitive power lifter, so I don't really care how much I lift. If I lift three extra kilos or five extra kilos because I'm using a belt, that honestly doesn't really matter to me. In terms of muscle activation, most find that there is not a huge difference. Some find that it just changes how the abdominals brace. It has more rectus abdominis, more six pack activation, but less external oblique activation. Others find the opposite. Others find that the legs actually increase in activation. Some find that the spinal erector activity is increased. Others find that it's decreased. Others find no change. So a lot of these studies are conflicting, but the bulk majority of them find maybe a slight increase in leg activation. And this is probably because if your spine is in a stable position, your central nervous system will allow, quote unquote, your legs to contract more forcefully. And this is part of the reason why almost everyone is much stronger on a leg press compared to a squat, because the lower back, the core, the abdominals, the spine is in a more stable and rigid position. However, the most common reason that I hear for using a belt is not actually performance. It's not muscle growth, it's not lifting more weight, it is safety. However, there are zero studies that actually say using a belt increases safety or decreases your risk of injury. Zero, none, nada. In fact, Dr. Stuart McGill, he suggests that using a belt increases your intra-abdominal pressure and this allows your spine to flex more while you are lifting because it has more stability. However, going more into flexion can actually put more stress on the discs. And he's actually the world's foremost expert on spinal mechanics. So when he talks about the spine, I listen. And if he suggests not using a belt, I think that is relevant information. Now, should you use a belt? Try it out. If you like it, use it. But I would do at least some of your training without a belt. Can you imagine going into the gym without your belt? And someone being like, hey, you want to hit up some deadlifts? And you being like, oh, I don't have a belt. I mean, how pathetic would that be? You don't need a belt to be strong. You don't need a belt to not get injured. Try it out. See if you like it. But don't be tied to it. Don't use it as a crutch. We are human beings. We have systems in place to naturally lift weights without an external help. So let me know in the comments below, do you use a belt? Why? Why not? And uh, I'm also going to link a few studies and a few articles in the description in case you want to have more information about this topic. Um, I think it is, again, ultimately a personal choice, but you should try both. The reason why I started lifting with a belt, or at least <laughs> lifted with a belt today, is because I wanted to try it out. If I'm a fitness coach, a fitness professional, I need to keep learning, keep experiencing new things. And if a client asks me how to use a belt, I should know how to do that. 
I will also eventually do a video on bracing. Whether you use a belt or not, keeping braced, keeping tight, keeping everything locked in is ultimately going to be the most important thing. All right, that is all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, etc. And I will see you in that next video. Peace.